गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंग्लिश ग्रामर सेशन वी हैव बीन लर्निंग अबाउट दिस टेंसेस फॉर द पास्ट फ्यू वीक्स एंड टुडे लेट अस हैव अ रिकैप ऑफ दिस टेंसेस टेंसेस एट अ ग्लांस एंड देन टेंसेस चार्ट पास्ट टेंस प्रेजेंट टेंस एंड फ्यूचर टेंस these have been categorized according to the time frame present tense past tense and future tense and what is present tense what is past and future tense we have learnt present tense expresses an unchanging repeated or reoccurring action or situation that exists only now it can also represent a widespread truth repeated actions unchanging actions and reoccurring habits all these are said to be in present tense only and past tense past tense expresses an action or situation that was started and finished in the past everything past completed actions we use past tense and future tense future tense expresses an action or situation that will occur in the future future time actions we denote them in future tense and now based on aspects also verb tenses may be may also be categorized okay so aspects refer to the nature of the action described by the verb there are four aspects four aspects means that is simple present tense or indefinite continuous or progressive perfect or complete perfect continuous and there are 12 possible verb tenses there are 12 possible verb tenses so let us see what are they verb tenses present past and future and all the four all the four types again four classes of these tenses categorized according to the aspects okay and now the rules of tenses if it is simple form simple form of all the past present and future then subject plus if it is present subject plus verb one that is base form of the verb plus object if it is simple past subject plus verb two plus object if it is future tense subject plus will or shall plus verb one that is base form of the verb if it is progressive forms for if, if it is in progressive form that is present progressive or present continuous subject plus am or is am are plus verb plus ing form if it is past was or verb plus verb plus ing form if it is future will or shall plus verb b plus will or shall plus b plus verb plus ing form if it is perfect tenses if it is in perfect form then have or has plus verb 3 that is past participle if it is in past then had plus past participle v3 and if it is in future perfect shall or will plus have plus v3 if it is in perfect progressive perfect continuous forms shall or will plus have been plus verb plus ing form if it is in past had been plus verb plus ing form if it is in future will have been plus verb plus ing form and now what is present tense and then present tense simple present tense simple present tense used to describe an action event or condition that is occurring in the present at the moment or speaking or writing here are some examples and time signal the keywords are also given please go through them and present continuous tense used to used to emphasize the continuing nature of an act event or condition the going on actions at the time of present okay and the keywords are also given and the present perfect just completed actions we use this for just completed actions and the time uh, time signal the words are also keywords are also given present perfect continuous present perfect continuous is again starts and continues till starts start used to describe an action 
that has begun in the past and then it continues till the time of speaking present okay so uh, all day since for all these are the keywords and now past tense past indefinite or simple past completed actions we use this action to to describe an action or event that occurred in the past and the keywords are yesterday last month last night a fortnight ago all this and past continuous tense past continuous tense is used to describe actions going on in the past till another action begins so when you called me i was playing the piano and past perfect tense it is used to refer actions that took place and were completed in the past that is if two actions take place one the earlier action to be uh, written using past perfect tense and the after action that is in simple past before as soon as when all this and past perfect continuous tense it is used to indicate that a continuing action in the past began before another another past action began or interrupted the first action so in the past it started and continued for some time till another action began okay so we had already been staying in london for 3 years yes and now what is future tense and what future indefinite simple future tense future tense is used to denote future future actions okay and will be completed actions yes so simple future tense it is used to refer to actions that will take place after the act of speaking or writing she will go to paris tomorrow and for short futures we use present continuous like i am going to read newspaper tomorrow so future actions to denote future action that which is going to take place in the future we use this simple future or future indefinite tense and future continuous tense future going on actions so it is used to describe actions ongoing in the future okay so i shall be going out at 8 tomorrow morning we will be listening to english class tomorrow by this time so now future perfect tense future perfect tense future completed actions which actions we assume they will be completed at some point of time then we use this future perfect tense used to refer to an action that will be completed sometime in the future before another action takes place we shall have arrived at uh, uh, surabaya tonight so or uh, next by next month by the end of the day these are the uh, time signal that is the keywords we can tell so future perfect continuous tense it is used to indicate a continuing action that will be completed at some specified time in the future future it will be started and it will be continued till another action begin in the future only it starts and it continues till another action begin in the future so uh by june 2027 i shall have been working at this office for 3 years you can for for 7 years you can write here the example is is uh, given wrong please check it children you can change it as by june 2027 i shall have been working at this office for 7 years okay you can write like this and now all the 12 tenses with only one verb taken and and uh, how to write using the structures please go through this and tenses structures and examples simple present tense its structure and example and children yesterday i already told you about practice and here are few quotes knowledge is of no value unless you put it into practice so grammar unless how much ever you learn if you don't practice it is of no use and 
the more you sweat in practice the less you bleed in battle okay so how much only when you practice how much you practice it only tells you how much you are perfect in that subject or in that lesson or whatever it may be along with the i am sending you a link of practice session please practice them and be perfect in this in this grammar lessons so that you can be very much fluent in your language also thank you for now meet